Hey, um, Bit Headache 5 here. Um, and I just wanted to talk a little, little bit about this whole um, sectarian thing in, in, the, in the gay community. Like, married gays, some of them may feel as if they're better than a gay guy or a gay girl that goes to clubs, you know, every so often, maybe like once, twice a week, maybe even more. And then clubber gays feel as if they're better than married people because their idea of liberation is basically a horny teenager all the time being out in the club so you can find your next leg. Um, and, you know, quote, they shirk off thoughts of marriage as imitation of straight people. I find it, I take issue with that description to say that we're imitating straight people when in fact we want to do what we want to do. And marriage is a part of that for everyone. We grow up wanting to get married. We don't grow up wanting to get domestically partnered or civil unioned. And those who would push for domestic partners or civil unions only in anything short of marriage do not understand what marriage is. Um, they don't understand the enumerated rights of a civil union. They can't possibly because they don't have to get one. Um, and they take marriage for granted simply because they can't get one and there's a recognized in all 50 states and they don't have to worry about what state will recognize their arrangements or what state or who will be on the on the receiving end of their paperwork and deny its validity. So some people feel as if they're better than the other. You are not better, you are different. Just the way that masculine and feminine men are not better than one another, they are just different. A masculine man, you know, may be a butcher. A feminine man could be a butcher too, as long as he knows his way around a cut of meat. Maybe I shouldn't have used a butcher. But, you know, a, a masculine gay man could be a hairdresser too. Um, you know, there are, you know, your capabilities and skills do not have to stop or start with what end of the spectrum that you you are on. So with the, for these single gays who think that, or for these clubber gays, the minority of people who feel as if they're better than a married gay man or woman, I say to you, shame on you for thinking that we are imitating straight people. We are doing simply what is natural to us because marriage is a part of, of a natural life. It is a part of what everybody grows up wanting to do. Whether, or it, whether, it's not, whether it is for you or not for you is for you to decide alone. And not only that, but you are no better than a married gay. And for the married gays who may think that they're better than the single gays and may look down on club culture, it is a part of our culture. Any, it, is, it is as a part of our culture as anything else. I would submit even the subcultures. They are a part of our culture, too. And just like, you know, drugs and HIV has, has, a, has a place in our community as many, are, m m many gay and lesbian people are drug addicts and are living with HIV to look down on someone because you know like they go to the club every every once in a while or or you know because they may be at the clubs often or they're a mainstay you know um, that's a part of their life and maturing often happens you know um, I was watching Queer as Folk and they had a parody of called Gay as Blazes and there was this guy who said, um, where's this person at Club Sodom? And it's like, you know, <laughs> come on, you know, like, clubs are a reality just like marriage is one. Um, so I feel that with this whole, with this, this kind of brought me back to Depp Fox's post, um, blog spot, um, Brian has a blog called Gay Family Values and they're awesome. Um, and I, I have to follow it or see if I can follow it on my blogger because mine is Spencer Hamilton profile and I haven't written a blog in a long time since I've been posting videos because I feel that that would be redundant. But then again, um, maybe I just haven't had anything to write about or maybe I just haven't had time to write uh, because I didn't make time. So anyway, um, 
What are your thoughts on this? I feel that gays who get married, gays who are gay and lesbian people who, you know, are clubbers or whatever, or frequents at the club, you know, um, some people could be going there to have a drink, some people could be going there to hook up. And it's, a, you know, and at one time the bars were the only way to actually find other gay people. And now with, with, with chat lines and the internet, it's quite, it's, it's quite simpler and people are meeting people from all over this country. And, you know, I have, have heard of people who went down the, to a certain, went down to states and up to states into the Midwest to be with a partner. But, um, you know, it, I really feel like, like those people who make it seem as if settling down is a heterosexual thing they don't have a monopoly on that any more than we have a monopoly on clubs. So, you know, um, they say different strokes for different folks, but I also submit that when people get married, it is not in pushed upon anyone else to get married. Only, the, only a couple who's been together for a long time, which one of these days I may be very well hearing it in a couple of years. Hey, when are you and he going to get married? You know, like you see, you've been, hey, you fought for it. You should do it. So what are your thoughts on that? I really am distraught. Some, or not exactly distraught because that's a heavy term that I, that's not correct in this case, but I'm really tired of the whole, you know, like, married gays versus club gays and, and how, you, you know, one feel as if the other is imitating straight people and the other feel as if, you know, it's immat a sign of immaturity because I even go out to the club sometimes and I like going there and I like seeing people, you know, I guess it, I guess it really boils down to what your motivation is to go. You know, hey, I'm not even going to lie, sometimes it wouldn't, I wouldn't mind to, you know, pick up somebody there, but it would just feel really awkward because I wouldn't know them from a can of paint, though. So, YouTube, what are your thoughts? Um, married versus single gays is, I think, what I'm going to title it. But um, both of y'all need to sit down and just understand that you, both of you are different, just like with the masculine and feminine gays. Have a great day, YouTube.